can literally not imagine living without and we're gonna talk about them. I have a couple of like lifestyle things. I have some hygiene things, skincare, hair care, and makeup and we're gonna go over all of them and why I love them. Actually, starting off with this, it looks disgusting but Venti Ice Matcha Latte with Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Foam. I could drink like eight of these in a day and still not feel content. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna start off with like lifestyle and hygiene. I don't know why I'm bunching them together, but I feel like they go together. First off, the Flamingo Wax Strips. These are technically the down under ones but they sell eyebrow ones. I use these for my eyebrows. I just cut them up to the right shape. I draw how the arch is on my brow and then I cut the strips to match that. And then when you peel them apart, it makes your eyebrows like perfectly symmetrical. But they work really well, I love them. Up next for body care, the Tropic Glow from Tree Hut. I'm sure you've seen this on TikTok. It smells like the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, Bum Bum Cream, however you wanna pronounce it. Oh, I use this before fake tanning and I have never had a problem with my tan being patchy if I use this. Speaking of fake tan, I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about this. The Tarte Brazilians, I've used every fake tan under the sun, I think, and this is one of the best. It's a lotion. I still put it on with a mitt so that I don't get my hands all orange, but it dries down immediately. It might transfer a little bit, but nowhere near the way the other tans transfer. Like this shit dries down, so good. Another important thing when it comes to tanning and then just life in general, the Bag Balm Daily Moisturizing Hand Lotion. It's so, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, it is so thick, but it'll keep your hands so moisturized and you won't have to deal with drying, cracking skin at all. Also speaking of hands, Touchland hand sanitizer. I know it's very bougie, okay? I get it, I get that it's bougie, but it fits in a purse so perfectly and it smells good. It's like the adult version of the little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers that we all used to have in like middle school. They smell so good. It's literally like putting on a little bit of extra perfume. Okay, the Fenty perfume. It is more of like a winter scent, I would say, because it's very warm, very musky. I love a warm musky smell and this, I have not been able to get enough. Like. I got this a couple weeks ago, maybe like three weeks ago, and you can already see how much of it I've used. Because I can't stop. I literally just, I can't help myself. There's a reason everyone says that Rihanna smells really good, and I think this is the reason. Also something that smells incredible, incredible. I know we all love the way that fresh laundry smells, like it's just immaculate, but this, the, the downy white lavender, it has to be these ones specifically, these scent beads. I've never smelled something that smells this good when it comes to laundry. It's like just the perfect laundry smell, but still like girly, you know? I'm a sweaty girl. I am, I really try to smell as good as I can if we can't tell by everything that I've just showed you. I be sweating, you know? I be sweating when I go out. And and the little mini Dove aerosol deodorant, this is so perfect to keep in your purse when you go out because it's so small and you can just, perfect. I am an anxious person by nature. And one thing that I've actually noticed making a difference as I've started to use them more frequently is ashwagandha. These ones, they're from the new company. Just take one in the morning or the evening and it just, I don't know, it just chills me out. It just makes me stop feeling so like stressed about everything. There's a lot of benefits to ashwagandha. You can look them up for yourself and see if it's something that you would want to use. But for me, Kind of on a similar note, Zequo. I have trouble sleeping a lot at night. I can't do melatonin because it gives me sleep paralysis, which no one wants. No one wants to deal with that. But Zequo, I've never had any weird dreams or sleep paralysis or anything like that with it. And it knocks me out within like half an hour of taking it. And this kind is the non-habit forming, which is really important because you don't want to like be reliant on something ever when I need her. She comes in clutch. Okay, now we're gonna move on to hair care. My hair is extremely important to me. So what I use with it is also extremely important to me. First up, the K18. This is the Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. I just have very dry scalp in general. This, if I notice my scalp starting to get a little itchy, a little flaky, I'll use this and it cures everything. You don't wanna use this too frequently because it is a detox shampoo, but if you're like me and you get a little flake flake every once in a while, she's your girl. 
also from K18, their leave-in molecular repair hair mask. If you're someone who has any bleach in your hair, any damage like that, where it's a little fried, a little bit, this is your best friend. I've tried Olaplex in the past. It didn't really do much for me. This is like Olaplex's older, better sister. She is amazing. It's like your hair just like was born again. She's amazing. Now from Seven Hair Care, I also love Seven Hair Care. My hairstylist put me on. Their stuff is amazing. First of all, their texture spray. This is my third and she's, she's empty. Aww. It gives you texture without making your hair like crunchy at all. It's just, I've tried so many texture sprays because I don't like teasing my hair because it causes damage. This is the best one I've ever used. Also from Seven, their Kente Bond hair mask. You can see she's almost empty because I use so much of it and then I just slather it in my hair. I leave it for 15 minutes. This is when I wanna take a long shower. Like I have to shave my whole body. I have to scrub everything. I, 15 minutes sounds like a long time, but your hair will feel silky smooth afterward. Oh my God. God, so smooth, so smooth. I get a lot of questions how I keep my split hair on their respective sides. The Seven Polish Balm, this is perfect. It's like a cross between a pomade and a gel. You can see what it looks like. And I just get literally the tiniest little bit on my finger, rub them together, and then I can just keep my little hairs on their respective sides and just keeping everything together. Last up for hair care, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is one that actually cleans your hair and eliminates grease, dust, anything that's going on upstairs. She's also almost empty. I love dry shampoo. I only wash my hair every three days or so, but this, I love it because if I spray it in my hair, my hair will stay non-greasy for those three days. I use it right after I shower and then I don't have to touch it up again. One of the best dry shampoos I've ever used. Also for hair, the Bellamy Professional Brush. This is, I think they're extensions brush. My hairstylist gave it to me, but I have K-tips and that means I have these little bonds. Let me see if I can find one. I have these little bonds in my hair and they kind of make it, once they start growing out further, it's a little hard to brush my hair with a regular brush and this extension brush is perfect so it's not, it's not ripping anything out. Everything's gonna stay where it needs to stay. I'm not gonna have little bald patches. Oh! Okay, now moving on to skincare. Okay, to take my makeup off, using the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, this will melt anything off your face. I don't know if you've seen my videos before, but I do this thing called Color Me Monday where I put face paint just all over, crazy color everywhere. This will take it off in like two seconds. And it's so, so melty. Like, I don't know how, I, but it's nice because once you get it all on your face, then you rinse it with water and it kind of emulsifies a little bit into kind of like a cleanser. I double cleanse with this. I use another cleanser afterwards, but this to get the makeup off, I'll never use another makeup remover. Also from Elemis, the Dynamic Resurfacing Peel and Reset Anti-Aging Mask. But it has two sides. On this side, it's the peel phase. So it's this like white liquidy mask, very thin. But you put it on, let it sit on your face for about 15 minutes, and then you rinse it off. And it just, it's resurfacing. So it'll make your skin really, really smooth. And then on the other side, it's the reset phase. So it's like a little, it's like a little serum that you put on afterwards, and it'll just make your skin hydrated again and smooth. I use this about once or twice a week when my skin really, really needs it. But on the days that I'm not using this, I will use the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. They're little cotton pads. This is a whole stack of them. I, that's all I have left out of those. I actually used to use these back in 2020 and I remember loving them. And then I forgot about them entirely because I ran out of them. I had gotten them in like a boxy charm or something and I forgot about them and my skin kind of went back to being terrible and I never like correlated that it was because I stopped using these. Elemis sent me these back in November and I remembered exactly, exactly why I was so obsessed with them. They just smooth everything out so well. I just use them every day after I wash my face. I don't know why I would ever stop using these. And then lastly for skincare, Charlotte Tilbury. I have been using the Magic Serum and the Magic Cream for prepping my face before makeup since October now. And everything just lays so perfectly on top of them. They're so moisturizing, but they don't make primers like do that little peely thing or anything. Like they just, they work well with every foundation I've tried, every primer that I've tried. It's a perfect skin prep skincare item. They are a little pricey, but I'm not even gonna lie. I can't live without them. Okay, that's it for skincare. And now last, we're gonna talk about 
makeup, obviously. I'm a makeup girly. I love my makeup. Oh god, I have to grab all of it. I have a lot. I have a lot I want to talk about. Like, I just can't even grab all of it. Like, I... And I thought that I, I was I was trying not to do too much makeup, but I wanted to try to slim it down and it didn't work very well. Okay, first up for makeup items, this is I guess a makeup tool, but the big brush from Say, using this to buff out my cream contour. I've never been a brush girl when it comes to cream products, but this brush I will use religiously. I also use it for my foundations when I wanna do a lighter foundation look. I just, it's so dense and so perfect for blending things out. I love the size of it. I just, she works so well. And the bronzer that I use that with, the Milk Sculpt Stick in the shade Simmer. It looks teensy tiny, right? I've seen a lot of people talking about this on TikTok and they're like, it's so small, I thought it was the travel size. That's a lot of product. For a cream stick, oh my god, please go down. For a cream stick, that is a lot of product. Just, I think it's the way that it's packaged. If it was in like a little compact, y'all wouldn't be saying that it's tiny. It's just because it's a little guy. It's just a little dude. You can use it over powder products. When I went and did a photo shoot with Milk, they used it over the makeup I already had on, which I was really nervous about. I was like, hey, yo, no. Don't fuck my shit up. But it actually, no, it works over powder products. I don't use it like that, but it blends out incredibly. And the shade range, amazing. Actually amazing. Okay, next up, concealer. I got this for my sister. I got this for my sister-in-law last summer. I got her a whole makeup bag for her birthday, like just full of my favorites, like a whole new routine for her. And I got her the hourglass concealer initially. I ended up not putting it in the bag and I gave her a different concealer and I kept it for myself and I'm happy that I did because this has been my favorite concealer ever since it's almost been a year now and this is still what I use every day I think I've gone through three of them at this point I use the shade silk vanish I think is what it's called it's hydrating but still full coverage it blends with any foundation I've tried the shade range great now for foundation this is actually a drugstore foundation the l'oreal true match the thing about l'oreal true match is most foundations don't look at all of the colors that go into making up your skin like they don't look at like the greens the blues the reds like they only look at certain which is why oxidation happens and like a lot of foundations look too pink or too orange or gray like i feel like no other company is doing it like l'oreal this when I put it on my skin for the first time, it was like it disappeared. It matched my skin tone so perfectly. I was actually, I had to stop what I was doing and film a video on it because I was so shocked. And it wears incredibly. They really, they knew what they were doing with this and I'm so happy that they sent it to me and that I fell in love with it. Because I do fake tan though, it doesn't always match me. Sometimes it's a little too light, but I've been using, as you can tell, it's very rubbed off, but this is the Indeed Labs, the Nano Bronze Bronzing Drops. You're supposed to mix it with your moisturizer or like your chest, legs, whatever. It's literally just like a little bronzer, but mixing this with my foundation is perfect because it doesn't mess with the way the foundation lays and it doesn't make it like too thin or too thick or anything like that. And it's really, I don't know, it just works when I'm tan and I can add it however much I need to make my foundation actually match my bronzed skin. Okay, with concealer, the Kosas Face Detailer Brush. I obviously have very long nails, so I can't always get up by my eye with my finger and I always do my eyes before I do my face makeup so I don't want to like accidentally get concealer up on my eye look but using this just on the nose and getting right up in there just to blend out the edges before I go in with my beauty blender it just makes everything blend so much smoother and I don't have to try as hard with my beauty blender to blend everything out also from Kosas their glow IV skin enhancer I'm gonna just put like a little bit on my chest hold on okay Hi. Just using a little bit of this, just using it with a big buffer brush and getting it on the chest. I love doing this for events. It just gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow. And it photographs really well. All right, if you know me at all, the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I've been in love with this product for a year and a half, I think, since the first time I tried it. It is the only powder I will use. No other products perform the same way for me. She's just, she's everything. Okay, no, this has been a recent favorite, like within the past couple of days, just because of my pink hair. But this combination of blush and highlighter, this is the MAC Pink Swoon. As you can see, it's that perfect little cool toned bubblegum pink. I love the way it looks with my hair. I have both of these on right now. 
This is the Kaleidos Mars Malter Base Age highlighter, and it's like a holographic highlighter. But you can see it's like a reddish pink holographic. It's not too intense, like it's not like you're putting just straight pink on your cheek. The combination of those on my cheeks with my hair, I feel like is just so perfect. And then last two things for makeup are with the eyes. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions eyeshadow palette. I use this in my everyday makeup video that I just posted. She is so gorgeous. I'm a neutral girly when it comes to eyes. I kind of always do the same basic eye look and this has me covered for any variation of that that I want to do. I also love that it comes with two cream shades down here on the end and that they have a cover but I like using those to kind of prep my crease and then pack these darker colors on top of it just helps everything stay and these shimmers are like these shimmers are really glittery like they're very I love I have some right now on my little inner corners I love the way they catch the light I'm gonna use this palette actually on my sister-in-law for her wedding makeup that's how much I love it and then last but not least for makeup for everything tartlet tubing mascara this mascara has a so cold on me. Every day when I'm doing my makeup on live, I get asked, what mascara are you using? What mascara? What is it? What? Blah, blah, blah. And I think I say Tarlet tubing at least 50 times a day. I wear fake I wear fake eyelashes pretty much every day, right? But the amount of people that tell me, you don't need lashes, like don't wear lashes. It's this mascara. I don't know what she, I don't know what's in it. I don't know what it is about it. She doesn't, she doesn't crumble. She doesn't smudge. It's a tubing mascara, so it comes off the eyes really, really nicely. I love the way it coats the lashes it doesn't get clumpy at all even when it starts to get dry never clumps she's just incredible I think I've gone through about four tubes of these so far and I got my first one back in November I'm very picky about how mascara wears on my bottom lashes and I love the way that this one keeps them separated and not too intense this girl she's perfect okay that's about it I'm sure there's things that I forgot but those are my rider dies it's spring cleaning era right now because it's April those are things I will not be getting rid of I will never get rid of I will continue to restock them in in fact, I'm hoping to do favorites videos about every season so that you can kind of keep updated with what I'm keeping in rotation and what's new that I'm loving. Obviously, I recommend all of these. I love them so much and I love you so much. I'll see you in two weeks.